In this video, I will build an experimental automatic waterer for birds, including poultry, and animals, including dogs, cats, and also wildlife. The basic function of this watering device is to deliver water through a nozzle where the flow is interrupted when a polyethylene foam material presses against the nozzle and stops the water flow. An empty plastic bottle floats in water. The rising water level generates a buoyant force and stops the water flow by pushing the foam seal against the nozzle. Plastic microtubing connectors can serve as nozzles. They have a 3 mm orifice and a flat bottom. Nozzles need to have a flat bottom. Nozzles with manufacturing imperfections such as this remnant flap will not seal properly. Button drippers may also work well as nozzles. A butane lighter softens the plastic and makes it easier to insert the plastic connector fitting into the tubing. Do not overheat or burn the plastic tubing. A miter box was used to make flat cuts on a 4.5 inch length of 2 inch diameter PVC pipe. PVC pipes are approved for portable water. A PVC end cap is slip fitted onto the PVC pipe. There is a 5 16 inch hole drilled into the 2 inch PVC end cap. The tubing is threaded through the hole and the nozzle fits tightly. This fixes the nozzle in a vertical position. A vitamin bottle fits into the 2 inch PVC pipe. The lid is placed tightly on the vitamin bottle. The cap should be smooth like the bottle on the right. Avoid dimpled and flip top caps. Sure Tape IT100 1 8 inch thick polyethylene foam tape has a sticky side. A 1 inch square is glued to the top of the bottle cap. It weighs about a quarter of a gram. Two holes are drilled directly opposite of each other, about one quarter inch from the bottom. One hole is 5 32nd inch diameter and the other hole is 1 8 inch. The bottle is dropped into the pipe. A cable tie is threaded into the holes on the bottom of the pipe. This keeps the bottle from falling out. The tie goes easily in the larger hole but has a tight friction fit in the smaller hole. Before using a float valve for the first time, it should be rinsed off well. This plastic tray will serve as the water dish. A 2 and 3 quarter inch diameter hole is cut into a plywood board. The 6 inch wide plywood board is fastened to the water dish. The float valve is placed in the water dish. A one gallon plastic bottle will serve as a tank to supply the water. A slightly undersized hole was drilled in the bottle and the one quarter inch tubing is forced through the hole. This is a watertight connection. Larger tanks may also be used such as this barrel or trash container. The bottle is supported by the wooden ledge. Water travels by gravity flow from the tank and through the tubing to the nozzle. The low water level activates the float valve and water flows into the water dish. This float valve maintains about a one and a half inch water level. Birds or animals drink water and the float valve automatically replenishes the water into the drinking dish. Sitting water can become a breeding ground for mosquitoes so if you see mosquito wigglers in the water then clean out the drinking dish.
There is a link to another YouTube on the Kratky float valve in the information below. Now that you understand the concept, you can adapt the materials and sizes to fit your needs and build your own automatic waterers. For now, I bid you happy watering.